Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a comparison and we're going to be doing an old versus new for desk fans for a comparison. We're going to be comparing this modern Dung Elm 6 inch USB fan and we're going to put it up against this Firma 12 inch oscillating desk fan. We're comparing a less than one year old desk fan to a 60 plus year old desk fan. This fan is a very good example of modern fans as USB powered fans and battery powered fans are very popular today. First off, as you can see, the materials used on the fans. This modern day one uses mainly plastic. And as you can tell, the front grill and back grill are plastic. The blades are plastic. The base is plastic. This part of the stem is plastic. This, I believe, is the only metal bit. Let's look at this fan. The blades are metal. The grills are metal, even if the front grill on this one's missing. The base is metal, even if this little knob is plastic. The motor housing is metal. This one doesn't have a motor housing. That's a three-speed fan. That's a two-speed fan. Let's have a look at blade pitch. This fan perfectly addresses the problem I have with modern day fans. The blades bend the wrong way. Mm, you don't see that. The blades bend the correct way. To turn each one on is quite similar. You just press this button for low, medium, high, and you press this one for off. Press down for high, press down again for low, press down again for off. This fan is made in China. This fan is made in Holland. Let's address another problem. Look at the size of that motor. That is a very small motor. Now look at the size of this motor. It spans across at these two screws. Much bigger. Look at how restrictive this grill is. This one doesn't have its front grill, but it's the same restrictiveness as its back grill. Look at how unrestricted it is meaning more air can get through. This fan is just made so cheaply. It's not made to last. It's flimsy and will probably break very soon. Plus, take a look at this. Here's the instruction manual for it. Battery is not removable. But why? That is a very stupid design and would mean if the battery fails, you're gonna have to power it by USB or get a new one. Let's have a look at another issue. Let's turn this fan on to low. This fan is very underpowered. Off. Let's show the older one on hello. And demonstrated on low, the older one is much more powerful. Here's a newer one on high. Yeah, from what you can tell, it's a weak fan with a weak little motor. Let's turn on the older one on high. Oh, 
already sounds more powerful. Much more powerful. There's a lot of difference between these two fans. This one has lived 60 plus years, no problem. This one you'll be lucky to even get five years out of it. Crazy how the technology has improved since the 1950s, but the quality of production has severely gotten down. <laughs> Plus, take a look at this, I find this quite funny. This fan is ridiculously tall as well. Who needs to fan desk little USB desk fan this tall? I don't know. Always go older when it comes to desk fans. The older ones are built better and will last you longer. It's a long term investment then compared to replacing one of these every three to five years, especially how underpowered they are. These are purposely built to fail and to be hard to take apart because the companies want you to just get rid of it and go buy a new one. That's just how it works. These ones are designed to be taken apart and fixed. If you want to oil this fan, you just remove these two screws and the oil wicks are right here. Ready for oiling. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and see ya.